Hello there, everyone, boys and girls, men, women, children of all ages. This is the everyone's favorite jack of all trades with a foul mouth, Commodore Urban. And yes, I'm wearing my Lionel hat. You're probably wondering why. Well, I'm going to show you guys my Lionel collection. Yes, I figured I've not. I've showed individual parts, but I've not showed in all of the fucking collection. But before I do, for everyone that is interested in my Lusitania project, I've got good news. I've got the fucking paints. Here we go, boys and girls. See, I got the paints. The models here, the paints are here. My book is here, and my other book is here. And I'll be working on that motherfucker here in a little while. But we're going to be talking about trains right now. Alrighty, I'm going to show you some trains, boys and girls. And here we go. Here is the entire train collection. All sitting out and about. Let's start on the inner line first. Here is um, my New York Central RS3 freight set with a few extra cars. This car and this car didn't come with it. These two cars are actually from the Pennsylvania steam freight set I got at my first train set in uh, 2008. But what came with this was this, 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 the loop of track is running on, and this, because um, it's Lion Chief. It runs by a remote control, and it's got sound system. And I actually already showed you guys what this thing can do in a separate video. If you're interested in that, you can fucking look for the video yourself. I don't want to look for it. <laughs> uh, too too long ago. All right. Now the second line is a little bit bigger loop, and it has my Chicago and Northwestern steam freight set from Menards. And I believe this train set was cataloged. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, was it cataloged? 2012. Okay, so this is a 2012 set. You know, it's got the 080 switcher. It's got the, you know, air whistle tender. Menards, uh, Chicago Northwestern boxcar. Two special flat cars with a tractor and trailer from Menards. And a special graphic caboose. And, of course, it also has the same size loop of track as this, except I've added extra pieces of track to it. And actually, the track that came with that set, it's actually the outer loop. The outer loop is all the track that I got when I got this. Oh, fuck. I hate these fucking telephone poles. They keep getting knocked over. Son's a bitch. Okay, there we go. Uh, and also the uh, the bridge. Well, the, the bridge, I'll tell you when I got that. But, yeah. The outer loop is track that I got with that train set and extra track that I got. Now, on the outer loop is my 1547S freight set from 1956, which includes the 2018 steam locomotive, which has, you know, smoke, um, three-position E-unit, headlight, and so on. Um, a 60-2060 tender, has no whistle. You know, it has the um, flat car with pipes. I forget the number of them, sorry. Uh, a 6014 box car, a 6112 gondola, and a 6257 caboose, which is hiding. There it is. And I actually just got done working on that son of a bitch right there, and it works pretty well. So, and now, um, another train set I have, I show part of. And this is actually the uh, Pennsylvania Steam Freight set from 2008, my first train set. I have the engine and the tender sitting here, along with its caboose. The two cars I added to the... Uh, I added them to the RS3 to give it something more to pull. And this right here is my 2016, my first post-war locomotive. I just recently redid something else on it because the it was grinding. And I found out it was a gear that was loose. So I tightened that some bitch up and now the 2016 runs. It, it's smooth as butter. And I got a whole bunch of shit sitting here. I've got a stack of catalogs. It's about, about a foot and, foot and thick. And if you're wondering, yes, that is the tender from my uh, 2016. I've got to get some parts for it. It does not work. i got to get a few more parts for it, and I'm hoping to get that sound best to sing. i got some track cleaning fluid there. i got my oil up there. i got my lubricant there. My QD electrical cleaner, that's for when I 
get my old trains and clean the guts and shit out of them. Because I tell you right now, when you get these things, you want to clean these things out. These things are nasty as fuck when you first get them. Especially if they've been used and abused. And all that shit's just a bunch of paperwork and crap I got sitting around. See, I got stuff out of train sets sitting around and books. And yeah, I do have books. I've got this book here, which is a a, um, a book about pre-war trains, which is kind of ironic because I don't have any pre-war trains. And I got my repair manual for uh, post-war trains. And if you're going to work on post-war trains, you want this fucking book. This book is going to help you out big time. And so you're probably wondering, how do I power up these three loops of track? Well, that big blue bulky box thing powers the loop with the RS3. It puts power to the track, but to control that son of a bitch, you got to have this son of a bitch. And you just flip it on like this, and you just control it like that and that. So on, so fucking forth. Now as for this guy, and that guy, and those two fellers, they're conventional. They need transformer. So what? that's what these two are. What the hell is this? Look at this. Oh, I don't know what the hell I have that for. Huh. Anyway, I have two Z, um, CW40s, not ZW40s, but CW40s. They're both 40 watt transformers. This one here powers this line, and that one powers this line. And I have a 45 watt transformer right there that came with that train there from, you know, that was actually the transformer came with that, my post war set over there. I don't really use it for, actually, I do use it. I use it to test run my locomotives off the track. And that's easy. All you have to do is touch one wire to the wheel and the other wire to the pickup. And then it'll run without no track. And so, yeah, this jumble thing of wires. This is just where, you know, the cords for those. And, yeah, if you're probably wondering how long has this been sitting on the floor. Well, it's been sitting on the floor since about mm, last March. So it's been on, this layout's been on the floor for a year. I've had people say, oh, you should take it up. You should, you should, you should put their trains away because you're going to, you know, you don't have enough room. You know what I say? I say, fuck that shit. I'm not putting my trains up. This is staying out. So yeah, guys. Um, this is my train collection. It isn't much, but, you know, I got it honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please, uh, you know, hit the like button. You know, and if you like what I'm doing, you know, like if you like my channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and uh, become part of my crew. Until next time, this is uh, Comet Urban. Saying, uh, let the track be clear ahead for you, and um, hi a ball, and God bless you, and uh, take care now. Uh, goodbye.